My play pot stocks, many of which surged to start the week on some legislative optimism, in particular regarding safe banking. But Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell today dashed those high hopes, criticizing Democrats for attempting to include, quote, pet priorities in a large scale defense bill or what's called the NDAA. McConnell saying if Democrats wanted these controversial items so badly, they had two years to move them across the floor. He's right in that account. Let's take a look at shares of Tilray, Aurora, Cureleaf, Cresco Labs, and they are down 14%, 12%, 13% for Cureleaf, 8% for Cresco Labs. It is a awful, awful day for pot stocks. And I keep saying this and getting argued with on Twitter by people that say, mm -hmm. hey, safe banking's going to get through. I continue to say there is no optimism for this industry, at least in the short term. Now, Democrats should have brought that bill to the bill by itself yeah. and see if Republicans would support it, but they wanted to include so many things in that. That is going to be a mistake that they may regret for years to come. Yeah, which is part of McConnell's argument that they should have prioritized this. The stocks, though, they trade almost like on any sort of news. And we talked about the massive reactions that we've seen in the stock to the upside and to the downside, almost trading similar to meme stocks. And I know yeah. many yeah. companies within this space would disagree with that, saying that they trade more so on the fundamentals, which I think you can make a little bit of an argument there, but I think the volatility of these names just show the fact that there's so much uncertainty when it comes to federal legislation, what that will potentially look like, not so much yeah. in the near future, but what that would look like years potentially down the road and without additional approval, Obviously, it could be a tough time for so many of these names. Right, and now that the House is controlled by Republicans, yeah. forget that optimism, at least in the short term. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Good point there.